A lovebird might be one of the smaller parrot species available as a companion pet, but this bird is inquisitive and seemingly always on the go. As their names suggest, lovebirds are known for the loving, attentive bond they tend to form with their mates. Welcome to Keeping Pet YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss nine species of lovebirds. So, stay with us. The name lovebird came because of their inseparable monogamous bond with their partners. They are also called pocket parrots as they are so tiny that you can put them in your pocket and take them anywhere. It would not be wrong if we say that lovebirds are energy bombs. The reason for being extremely popular among pet birds is their active and playful nature, their effortless maintenance, and the colors they bring into their owner's life. Native to African islands and Madagascar, there are nine types of lovebirds, which are distinguished based on the color of their feathers. Before we start discussing each species in detail, you should know that not all nine species are kept as pets. At number one, we have rosy-faced lovebird, also known as peach-faced. The rosy-faced lovebird is one of the most common and popular lovebird species to be kept as pets. Due to its popularity among breeders, there are countless varieties of these colorful birds. They are easy to tame, but can be aggressive sometimes, especially with other pets or birds. Adult lovebirds have rosy pink or peach faces and throats. However, young birds have pale pink faces and throats. The part above their eyes and forehead is colored reddish brown or dark orange. They have dark green plumage, fading into a black rump. They usually have dark brown or black eyes and a small horn-colored beak. Rosy-faced lovebirds are native to the deserts of southwestern Africa. They can survive in various habitats, including forests, woods, mountains, semi-deserts, and areas near rivers. Number 2. Black-Masked Lovebirds Black-masked or yellow-collared lovebirds are also commonly kept as pets as they are highly social and require plenty of human interaction or a lifelong mate for companionship. They are less aggressive than rosy-faced lovebirds, making them suitable pets for children. This type of lovebird has two names because there is doubt about which of their features is more prominent. The black masking on their face or the bright yellow collar underneath. Their head is black, which gives them a masked appearance. The white ring encircles black or deep brown eyes with a bright red beak, making the mask feature more prominent. They are bright yellow from neck to tail, fading quickly into a green color. Sometimes their tail and wings show blue hues. They are native to Tanzania only, but their subspecies can now be found in Kenya and Burundi. They usually prefer dry regions with sparse growth close to brushwood and trees. Coming up on number three is Fisher's lovebirds. They have outwitted all other lovebirds because of their bright and varied plumage colors. Despite being so playful, they are quieter than other species. They are brown and orange from the top of their head, which fades into golden yellow on their neck. They have bright green-blue plumage with light color changes across the chest, wings, and back. They have white rings around their eyes and dark orange beaks. They are two to five inches long from head to tail, weighing between one and a half to two ounces. They live in a small African area along with Lake Victoria and Tanzania. In drought years, they move to Burundi and Rwanda to find moisture. They live in isolated clumps of trees with grass plains between them. Number four, Nyasa or Lillian's lovebirds. Lillian's lovebirds are rare species of lovebirds and are considered endangered. They are mostly bred in captivity because it is difficult to breed them. The Lillian's lovebirds have yellow and red faces that fade into orange and then yellow when it reaches the chest. They have green plumage with blue tints on the wings. White rings surround their black eyes, and the bright orange color highlights their beaks. Nyasa is the smallest lovebird in mainland Africa. The biggest Nyasa can be about 5.4 inches long, weighing between 1 to 1.3 ounces. Natively, they come from Mozambique, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. It is now found in Leonard National Park, Pennsylvania, and numerous cluster groups may be found in the adjacent woodlands outside of the park. Coming up on number 5 is black-cheeked lovebirds. Black-cheeked lovebirds are vulnerable to habitat loss, falling among the endangered species. They were first considered subspecies of Nyasa lovebirds, but then identified as separate species. Do not confuse them with mass lovebirds. They have black cheeks, as their name suggests. Dark green plumage covers their body, and lime green from the undersides fades into a light brown on their chest, and then into an orange. With a bright red beak, their eyes are surrounded by white circles. They are roughly five and a half inches in length and weigh around 1.3 ounces. These birds tend to settle in deciduous woodland because of their continuous supply of water, as they require plenty of water every day. They are mostly present in Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Namibia. Number 6. Black-Winged or Abyssinian Lovebird Native to Ethiopia, 
These lovebirds are very uncommon and almost impossible to find, though they are gaining some popularity over time, but not enough yet. Abyssinian lovebirds prefer to live in packs of 4 to 20. As for appearances, Abyssinians are unique from other lovebirds. They have vibrant shades of green plumage all over their body with red faces and red beaks. What makes them unique is the black underwings. And there are no white rings around their eyes like most lovebirds have. They measure 6 to 7 inches in length with an average weight of 1.7 ounces. This means they are bigger than other species. They are found in the mountainous regions of Ethiopia, whose old name is Abyssinia, where they nest in tree cavities. They can be seen flying across the hilly regions, typically in high plains regions with 6,000 to 10,000 feet above sea level. At number 7, we have Madagascar or gray-headed lovebirds. Gray-headed lovebirds are the smallest of lovebirds. They are found on the island of Madagascar and are the only lovebird species that are not native to the mainland African continent. Their males have light gray to white colored heads and green wings and plumage. However, females are mostly all over green with darker shades on the wings and back. They are the smallest of all lovebirds, measuring less than 5 inches and weighing between 1 to 1.25 ounces. Madagascar lovebirds lie within a rainforest environment since they need plenty of water to survive. They are mostly present in wooded savannas, forest edges, and scrubs. Like other lovebirds, they prefer to live in small flocks of up to 10 birds. Number 8. Red-Faced Lovebirds Red-Faced lovebirds are native to mainland, Africa, and found throughout the continent. The expanse of their territory range from Sierra Leone to Lake Alberta and Uganda. Because of their distinctive appearance, many attempts were made to breed them in captivity, which failed. They are active and playful, usually living in colonies of up to 30 birds. Green plumage covers their body, tail, and neck. Males have redheads, but females are peachy orange-faced with red beaks. They grow up to 6 inches in length and 1.5 ounce in weight. They are native to African tropical rainforests and forest edges. Very rarely, they are also seen in high forest. Finally, at number 9, we have black-collared lovebirds. Also known as Swindon's lovebirds, they are also rare and unknown in Europe and the Americas, as they cannot be kept in captivity because of their dietary requirement of native fix. They are extremely shy birds and thus it is hard to spot them even in their natural habitats. They are approximately 5 inches long, weighing around 1.4 ounces. They are mainly green from top to bottom, with a gray beak and brownish-red chest. But the black band on the back of their neck sets them apart from other lovebirds. Equatorial Africa is their domestic home, but they can be found in several countries, such as the Republic of Congo, Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Ghana, Central African Republic, Uganda, and Libera. They are mostly found in the upper parts of the forest canopy among fir trees. That was all about lovebirds. Like this video and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you soon with another informative video. This video was brought to you by KeepingPet.com, a web platform dedicated to providing the best pet care tips to pet owners. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for much more.